Good day everyone and welcome to the channel once again. It's Tony Lopez Samuel here and in this video we are going to be taking a look at how to design a business card in Photoshop. As usual, all the resources we'll be using in this video will be given in the description so you can check them out to follow suit. Let's get into the magic world of Photoshop. So here I am in Photoshop. The first thing I'm going to do is to be creating a new document. So I will over over create and I'll press create new. Next off, we are going to be using the standard business card size which is 3.5 by 2 inches. So you can set your resolution to any amount of resolution you want. I'm just going to be working with RGB since this is not going to be on print. So let's press create. So when we create our business card, the first thing I usually want to do is to pick up my rectangle tool here. When I pick up my rectangle tool and I will just draw my rectangle just as big as that. So and I'll pick back my move tool. And of course, I'm going to make this rectangle black. So it's just going to be pure black, just like that. Next off, we have to add our guides to this design. So I'm going to be adding my guides to it. I'll come over here to view and I will press new guide. So when we press new guide, first off, I'm going to be adding 0% to my first guide. Then we we'll go over again to view and we'll click. I'm going to be adding 100% to the guide. Next off is I'll go over to view again. We are going to be creating so much guys, so we just need to come over to view. So we'll come over to view and I'll press 40%. At the course of the tutorial, we'll get to know why these guys were created. Come over to new guide again, just like that, and we'll press 60%. Just like that, we can create another guide at this size also. So let's over move over to new guide again, just like that, and we'll click vertical this time. So we'll press 0%, just like that. I will go over to view new guide again I will click on new guide I will press 100% and uh, I would like to create one more guide so I will just press new guide and I will put on 5% or let me just work with 3% or 4% just like that you can work with anyone you choose to anyone you are satisfied with you can work with so next up is I'm going to pick up my rectangle tool again just like that I pick up my rectangle tool and I'm going to be drawing over this new guide right from this point here. So you pick your new guide and you move it just like that to the end where the guide ends till it shows a blue line. So just like that when it shows a blue line you stop drawing and you pick your move tool. So next of you pick your rectangle tool or you can double click here to change the color of the guide. So I've already set the color of that I want and the X code is 99FE00 so you can just use the color code if you want to follow suit so next up I'll press OK and yeah we are done we can move over we pick our rectangle tool but this time we right click on it and we press our ellipse tool so we are going to be needing our ellipse tool now so you click on the ellipse tool but you hold your shift on your keyboard and also alt on your keyboard so just like that to draw a circle that is even all around so next off you just draw the circle just like that and press ok so we can come over here and drop the circle just like that press you on your keyboard or you come over to this place and i'm going to be removing the stroke that's this black outline that i was showing before so i'll remove the stroke just like that you can decide to increase the size of a circle by pressing ctrl t just like that and increase it a little bit with alt or shift and alt if you are using a lower version of photoshop and you press ok just like that we can move it just like this then we can press ctrl j on our keyboard and change the color of the rectangle by double clicking to black just like that we press ok press ctrl t on the keyboard and we reduce the size of that or that circle the black circle just like this and we press ok so next off i want to add my drop shadow to the black so i'll double click on this layer by double clicking it opens my blending options just like that so we can shift our blending options so we can be able to see the drop shadow so once i add my first drop shadow to hit and i just tweak the values here just like that you can tweak it to your satisfaction then i can decide to add more drop shadows to it just 
the way I want it to be and when I'm okay with it I can just leave it just like that so just tweak it to your own satisfaction and when you are okay you can leave it I think I'm okay with this drop shadow next off is we are going to move into our resource folder and bring in our resource so I'll bring in the logo of the company the name of the company is pleasure catering and events so press ok just like that bringing it in and we bring the logo here just like that the logo will be linked down in the description to follow suit if you want press ctrl t on your keyboard and reduce it a little bit if you want to and press ok next up i'll press t on my keyboard or i come to my text tool and i will type pleasure catering and event but i'm going to make sure i am using the white so next and I'll make sure is in the center alignment so I move on and I type I'm going to be using the poppins font so we'll just use poppins semi bold just like that so I'm going to type pleasure pleasure catering and event just like that so we we'll type it like that and press ok then we can Move, pick our move tool or you press V on your keyboard see the shortcut will show V on the keyboard just like that we move it here or press ctrl T on our keyboard to transform it and reduce it a bit you can use alt to reduce if you are using the latest version of photoshop and shift and alt to reduce if you are using an older version so we move in bring it to our layer press ctrl T again to reduce it just a little bit more just like that think I'm okay with it here and I'll press OK. Now bring my pleasure kitchen and catering down like that and I can just press my logo and just make it to the center or you can click the two of them together just like that. Hold the pressure the text and the logo together and you can press centralize just like that and you can just center it raise it up and just use your discretion to find it so next off i will hold my pleasure kitchen and scroll down to the last to the rectangle we drew first or to this rectangle too so we can come here and press holding your shift and click on the rectangle too and you press ctrl g on your keyboard to press to group them together and you can double click here because successfully you have been able to make the front of our business card so you can name it front just like that so after naming this front based on you i this is the front of our design we can turn it off so that we'll be able to design our second the back of the business card just like that so i would like to duplicate since i don't want to be really making some processes in the design so i'll open this duplicate of my design i will now bring it down just like that Although I'm going to be tweaking some things, so you have watch me as I do such. Now, so next off, you open the layer and your logo. You want the logo, the two circles with the logo. You want to raise them up and the text just like that. So you can just raise them up a little bit, just like this. Next off, I'm going to be removing the drop shadows that I had it. So you right click and replace clear layer style. Just like that and you can hold it again just like that to anywhere basically and just continue resizing to or arranging or aligning till you are okay with it when you are okay you can press ctrl g to group it so you can have a uniform alignment press ctrl t on your keyboard alt to transform a little bit and press ok you can move it down a little bit next off is i want to reduce this green here it's too big for me so press ctrl t on your keyboard and you can reduce it a little bit more just like that so i'm going to the reason why it's scaling together is because this is turned on so i can off it and press just like i press ctrl t on my keyboard and just move it down a little bit just like that and when i move it down i can press ok press ctrl t and make sure i turn it back on so just like that so next off i can bring my logo down a little bit press ctrl t on my keyboard to transform it if i want to just transform it just like that so i can have breathing space in my design 
so next stuff you can just do and just basically play with it just like that so after doing that next stuff we want to type so bring come here and we can just type our design we can just come here or basically just come to the middle of the design to type so next off i'm going to be typing the name of the person named samuel or lab bc so i'm going to be using another font press ctrl on my keyboard the name of the font is called morganite so this is it so i'm going to be using morganite semi bold here just like that you can press ok i can press ctrl t to increase it a little bit just like that you can increase it just to any size you are okay with and press ok just like that press v on your keyboard or come to pick your two here now the essence of this second guide you know when we created these two guides here it helped us to draw the rectangle for the front the essence of this second guide is for alignment for our back design just like that you shift using your shift key and you are good to go so just like that next off we are going to be duplicating so i'll press ctrl j on my keyboard and i'll bring it down a little bit press ctrl t to reduce it just like that so next off i'm going to be typing founder since this person is the founder of the company so press ctrl a and type founder just like that so we can now press ctrl a to select all and i can just use a normal less weighty font so pick our v on our keyboard and just align just like we have been doing you can raise it up a little bit if you want to just to any length you want just like that next off is i'm going to be you can just pick up the two of them together just like that and you can raise them up anyhow you want it you just have to play with your own creativity so next off is i'm going to be picking up my then my call icon that will portray the call button so i'll come here pick up my call and i'll bring it into my photoshop document just like that so i bring up my call and i press ok so when i bring it up here and i also align it also to this place so you can raise it up so we can have more breathing space just like that for all that part of the document so next off we can come here and bring in our instagram and our facebook logo just like that together and bring them here also just like that press ok and the instagram logo to be import and press ok so the first stuff is i want to add my facebook into the design and i can just shift it just like that and you can bring the facebook down so there can be a space in here just like that pick our instagram and move it down also just like that so you can just you can now click the three of them together and use the justify to to make sure the spacing are the same so you just pick these two like that on your keyboard and now the spacing are the same so next off let's draw a mini rectangle so right click on our rectangle to pick our rectangle tool now and we can draw a mini so as the, the the rectangle has to be very diminished just like that so i think we get it the idea is just to just to pass a message so just like that a little bit you can just do it this way so you can raise this rectangle up just anyhow you want it and um next off is let's pick up our text to yeah to type so next off i'm going to be typing the phone number so i'm typing the phone number um this is not this phone number is not linked to anywhere so you can just Basically, I'm just going to be typing any number that comes to my head. So 816-065-1523. Just like that. Yeah. Just like that. Press OK. And move it. So just like this. You can just move it down a little bit. And yeah, we're good to go. We can press Ctrl J on our keyboard and move this down a bit also. So we can just move it down a bit and press pick our text tool and also edit it. So next off is pleasure catering and events. So 
you can just move it here just like that and type pleasure catering and events just like that so yeah we press ok or we can just press ctrl a to make sure we just align it to the left and press ok so that's just just for alignment you can bring it down here just like that and yeah we're going to go press ctrl g on the keyboard move this down also just like that yeah press t and yeah just like that basically the ig i am um, the ig name is also pleasure of catering an event and we're good to go so you can now arrange your layers here so pick up our call our phone number and bring it down a little bit to the call button and so we can group them together first aligning them so pick our move to yeah so we align them with this one then press ctrl g so we can name this call so yeah then we can go to our fb also bringing this to this place with this then align them also just like that so we can align them together uh, and group them ctrl g next up is the last one the instagram so you can name this fb just like that then the instagram logo and we can just bring them together also just to them and yeah ctrl g you can name this ig so these are the social media accounts so yeah basically We've been able to do something just so cool like this and we can bring our rectangle and yeah just to have some breathing space and yeah so we can close the whole group i rename this by double clicking here and name it back so we've been able to make the back of the design thank you so much for sticking around to the end of this video please don't forget to hit on the subscription button and press the bell beside it so as to get notified when I upload a new video. It's Tolu here and bye.